Hello everybody. Um, today we're going to talk about modeling direct variation. Um, it's actually a fairly simple lesson today um, as long as you understand how to graph lines. Direct variation is just a form of a line with some uh, special stipulations. Um, so let's go ahead and get into that. Um, write and graph a direct variation that has negative 4, 8 as a solution. Okay. Well, in general, a direct variation looks like this. Y equals AX. Okay, that's in general. Y equals AX. This is a direct variation. Okay, the constant of variation is A. The constant of variation is A. Now, if we look at this, isn't this very similar to a line? Y equals MX plus B. So basically, your constant of variation, your constant of change, is your slope because isn't your slope telling you what you're changing? Now notice you do not have a B out here. So what does that mean? What does B always equal with a direct variation? It equals zero. So this means a direct variation is a line that essentially just goes through zero, zero. Okay, well, if I want to find the direct variation that is negative 4, 8 as a solution, here's my general form. Isn't negative 4 an x and 8 a y? And I know it's a solution because it tells me it is. So can't I plug in negative 4 for x and 8 for y? So 8 equals a times negative 4. And now we just do a little algebra to solve for that. Okay? So 8 equals negative 4 a divided by negative 4. A equals negative 2. Now that's not what they want. They want to know the direct variation, the whole thing. So my direct variation is y equals negative 2x. And they want me to graph this. Well, I can graph this. It's a direct variation. I know my y-intercept's at 0 because this is plus 0 out here. Slope is two, negative 2, so that's down 2 over 1. Here's my direct variation right there. And if we count it up, I mean, we see that negative 4, 8 would be a solution there. Okay. Which is good because it told us it was. That's where we got the equation from. Okay. So direct variation, fairly simple idea. It's a line that goes through 0, 0. Okay. Has to start at 0. The graph. The graph. And we talked about this. Y equals AX is a line, oops, I should have space there, with slope A, and we talked about that, and a Y-intercept of 0. Okay? So if your direct variation said Y equals 3X, well, we're obviously going to start at 0, 0. Slope is 3, up 3 over 1. Bingo. Okay? Direct variation, pretty simple idea. Pretty simple idea. Okay? Ratios. Direct variation can be written as y divided by x equals a. A set of data points x, y shows direct variation if the ratio of x to y is a constant. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. If I take a look at the general form of y equals ax, and I divide by x, solve this for a. Don't I get y over x equals a? Doesn't that end up happening right there? Okay. So, if this is always my ratio, just like when we talked about earlier, when I had the point negative 4, 8, didn't I end up taking, when I solved it, I had 8 equals negative 4 times A. I divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4. So, 8 over negative 4 equals A. Well, isn't this X or Y? Because 8 was Y over X which is what I have right here, which is what it tells me here. Okay, so that's how you're going to find your slope. It's going to be y over x. y over x. And that just comes, it's real simple, that just comes from doing the algebra and setting it up. Okay, but they're just trying to get you to see that. What you're going to have, where this is going to come into play, is you're going to have a chart. Okay, and let's, you know, whatever it is. x, y, and this is, you know, 1, 2, 3, and this is 6. 12, 18, and they're going to say, well, what's your constant of variation? 
Okay? Well, as long as this is going up by the same thing every time, then you just take y, which is any y, divided by any x. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. There's my constant of variation, which is what I also found right there. Okay? Pretty simple idea. Pretty simple idea. Okay? So direct variation, constant of variation, talked about it. That's the A, which is essentially the slope. It's how much you're changing. The graph always has to go through 0, 0. It's going to be a straight line every time. And using ratio y over x to find your constant of variation. Okay? Hopefully it's a pretty simple idea. Hopefully we can build on what we did yesterday with this. Um, most folks don't have too much difficulty with constant of variation or, or with direct variation. Um, so hopefully, hopefully this makes sense to you.